Hey guys, this is Jackson, and today in this video, I'm going to show you how to solve a really annoying and a <laughs> sometimes a really scary um, problem that you can have where your engine just won't open. And in my case, um, I've got this isn't the first time this happened. This has happened to me, um, but at the moment, I've got this project just here where. I couldn't get it open today. I worked on it just yesterday, did hours of work on it, and then today I'd try to open it and I'd get this this is the this is the crash log. I'd get this crazy thing here where it's like unknown function, blah 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 blah. Who the fuck knows what's going on. This has happened to me in the past and it's given me different errors where it's mentioned that there were invalid um structures or something, so that was a bit more specific, but in this case it's just unknown function, blah, blah who the fuck knows what this even means. Um, but basically the problem is, and like I said, it's a problem that I've run into before. Um, if you create blueprint structures in your project, so in my case, I've got this blueprint here, which is a blueprint wave manager, something rather. Um, and I've got these structures that I've defined in my content browser down here. If you edit these inside the engine and then close your project and try to reopen it, um, your project will actually not reopen and it'll crash because um, editing these blueprints, ed editing these blueprint structures without refreshing the blueprints where it's used, so refreshing all nodes and then recompiling, um, there are plugins that you can do with that to do your entire project. But if you don't refresh them and then um, resave everything, your project can actually get corrupt. Um, and I don't know why, I'm assuming it's a bug. Um, I guess I've heard that blueprint structures are like they can be quite unstable and that you're meant to do your structures in C++, but I don't know how to do that and I feel like this should probably just work. <laughs> um, but anyway, that's that's the cause of the issue. It's if you edit these structures and then don't recompile and save your stuff and then um, before you close your project, then when you go to reopen it, it'll crash, you'll get an error, and then if you look at your logs, you'll get something like this. Um, but assuming if you're watching this video that probably means that you're already in this position where your project won't reopen and so i just want to share what i have done to salvage as much of the progress um as possible um basically this this project here it's only a new one but um this has happened to me in the past by the way for a project that i'd worked on for like 18 months and i thought i wasn't going to be able to salvage anything from the project I thought the whole thing was just fucked um, but it worked for that project it worked for this project and so I'm gonna I'm gonna show you what to do now um, basically you want to keep backups of your project um, if you're not keeping backups then I don't know if there's all that much I could do for you actually yes there is um, if you're not keeping backups basically what you want to do we'll start with the worst case and then we'll work up to the best case um, if you're not using backups you need to go to your project and then you need to go to your content folder and then you need to find the um, the blueprints that you suspect have the corrupted blueprint structures or the new blueprint structures so in my case um, I remember because I was working on it yesterday and it was working fine yesterday that the thing that I was editing blueprint structures in was this blueprint right here and so what you want to do is you just want to cut cut that put it on your desktop and then just try and open your project again and basically if you cut out the asset that uses the corrupt blueprint structures um, and remove it from your project then your project will open and then you'll be able to salvage all your content from there and then try to recreate the asset so that's worst case assuming that you've got no backups um, if you do have backups so for example if you saved a backup of your project in a in a zip um, folder or something like say you did that daily or weekly or whatever then what you could do is you could take the old version of that asset and then just delete the one, the corrupt one that's in your project and replace it with the older version. And then basically you would need to um, just redo any of the work that you did on that asset, but you won't have to lose your whole project and you'll be able to get your project open. Um, the next best case, I suppose, is if you have GitHub. Um, I have only just started using this because I thought it was like overwhelming um which is crazy because like i call myself a programmer and introduce myself as a programmer when i talk to people or a, a game developer or whatever but i actually hate using i guess <laughs> i get scared by shit like this because all i really know how to do is blueprints but um this gui um is is quite good basically you just you commit different versions of your project and then so for example with this one here 
as I said, it's a new project. I've only got five commits. Um, this one here was corrupt. This one here was corrupt. But then when I checked out this one and then tried to open my project, I could get this one open. So that that's good to know because that sort of helped me narrow down that something changed in this commit here, which caused my project to become corrupt. And if you look in here, um, these are my structures just here. I changed the names of the structures. I changed some of the stuff that was in the structures and um yeah hence my project was corrupt so i could revert to i could revert to this one here and then um i could either do my work from there or i could isolate the asset that was corrupt and then just delete that from the project and then replace it with the older version from the commit where i know that it works so that was what i did here is what i did was i um checked out this commit which then um I'm not going to do it right now because I might fuck something up. But um, I checked out that commit and then went to my content folder here and then I copied the version of that asset from that commit. I put it on my desktop so you can see this is for, it's labeled Wave Manager, whatever, commit three. And then this one's the, the latest one. This is the corrupt one. Um, and then what I did is I copied the old one back into the project and then um, basically now I've got the project open. So... As you can see, this is the old version of the asset here. Now, there is one more thing that you can do to save time because I did like four hours of work on this asset and I don't necessarily want to redo all of that again. But my most recent asset is a corrupt one. Um, and so I can't actually open this project with the corrupted asset. But what I just learned that I could do is if I took the, the latest version of the asset, which is corrupt and weren't opening the original project, and I created a new clean project and then just um, copied and pasted just here that asset into the, this is the latest version of the asset the one that's corrupted in the original project if I just copy that into the content browser of the new project um, I can actually I can actually get that open um, so this is it just here and as you can see there's like it's missing structures because it can't find the structures aren't in the content browsers. So there's a bunch of unknown structures, but you can see all this other work that I did here. There's a bunch of other functions and things that have been lost, um, that are lost in the backup version of this asset that I've got. So I can actually open this up in a clean, in a clean um, ed editor, clean project, and then I can go through here. And then um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove all of these. Um, and then migrate this back into the um, the original project. So anyway, hope that helps. Um, not all hope is lost if your project is fucking crashing because you've edited your structures. Um, just get the backups that you've got available, um, whatever, however far back you can go, and then just replace the fo the files inside of your project with the the most recent backups you can get and then try to salvage any information from the corrupted asset by opening it in a new project. So that's it. See ya.